Attention gamers, it's time. Oh yeah, it has definitely been time. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, recently, PewDiePie has begun a Minecraft series. The series and what he's doing is absolutely hilarious. It's so entertaining, but I I, I have a feeling uh, the Minecraft veteran might, might, might need some help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night, gamer. Ah! Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, yeah, mm hmm some help uh, and that is why we're here today So do all the things you know like subscribe notifications and uh, here are 10 tips for PewDiePie or other beginner Minecraft veterans Okay tip one uh, though it may be fun and and seem nice to feed the friendly animals Many of these creatures are absolutely soulless and have no um, interest in you whatsoever. They they just want to eat, so um, d just don't even bother. <laughs> Cows and sheep can be bred and fed with wheat. Pigs and rabbits can be fed and bred with carrots, uh, but pigs will eat anything, pretty much. Uh, they're, they're, they're nasty. And then chickens will eat seeds. Um, that's their favorite food. All of these creatures, uh, llamas, donkeys, horses, um, uh, fancy llamas, they will, they'll take your food, but they, they just don't care. Um, they'll, they'll keep eating it. Um, they, they won't like you anymore. They'll still wander away. So, um, <laughs> don't bother really feeding these guys anything, uh, for the most part. Um, they're, they're, they're just rude. Next tip. Cave systems are pretty crazy. They're pretty much big, giant gray mazes. To make it easier on yourself once you're trying to leave the cave system, Maybe place your torches on one wall. If you place your torches on, say, the right-hand side of um, your caves, then you know that when they're on the left side, so right now, uh, that means they're leading you towards the exit. You can also block off caves that you are done with so you don't get confused, and so you don't go back down those branches of the cave. If you don't like placing torches on one side of um, a cave like, like I don't, um, then maybe use a block like dirt to mark your way out. Moving on to tip number three. So these things, these spawners, these are never to be broken. Never, never, never. No, 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 no. My heart hurt a lot. Um, it made me pretty, pretty sad. Instead of breaking these spawners for experience and a short-term revenge plan, uh, leave the spawners there and, and light them all up like I, like I did there. Because you can come back later on and make a farm out of these things. It's pretty easy to do. And then um, pretty much get eternal revenge on the skeletons or, or the zombies or whatever you have a spawner for you can look at it this way revenge once uh, or revenge for the rest of forever once you set up a farm so next tip diamonds are most certainly an epic gamer moment absolutely you'll probably want to find lots and lots and lots of diamonds in your world uh, so uh, there is a specific place that you should be looking if you want diamonds and you want diamonds fast, make your way down to Y12 in your world. You can check your coordinates by pressing the F3 screen. You'll get all of this information. The coordinates are in the top line in the middle section. Make your way down to Y12 and then start creating long hallways uh, spaced out by two or three blocks. This is the best way to find diamonds fast. Also, mining like this is pretty safe. Uh, at, at least if you actually light up your hallways after you finish digging. But just know, um, this this is a long process, it's going to take some time, and it's also kind of boring. So if you're looking for thrill, go to the caves. But either way, diamonds will only spawn below Y16 in your world. Oh, well, hey, would you look at this uh, totally not suspicious pit of obsidian? Let's go ahead and, and mine this up. Uh, oh, no, very sad gamer moment. The obsidian has fallen away. Um... Hmm. Tip number five. When mining obsidian or anything that you think is near lava, always dump a water bucket first. Put water on the ground above the obsidian or right next to it or, or something like that. If you do that, then you won't have to worry about wasting any time because your items burnt up into the lava or maybe you fell into it, um, which, which would be awkward or anything like that at all. Water is your friend, lava is not your friend, and your good friend water is much stronger than lava, so use it to get rid of lava always. Are you tired of trying to get into your sheep pen and your sheep exploding everywhere? Um, well, me too. That's kind of annoying. You can actually place carpet on fence posts and use that as an entrance and an exit to your animal pen. 
Sheep, however, are what we would consider low IQ animals and they can't figure it out. Sheep will never jump up on the carpet and exit your pen. This is probably the best way to get in and out of crowded animal pens. This will work with cow pens, sheep pens, pig pens, anything, even horses. So you can say goodbye to these lame old gates and say hello to these fancy fancy carpet fences. Tip number seven. You may be an elite gamer and know about the bone meal trick, um, but you may not know that pumpkins and melon and, and cactus need to be spaced out to grow properly. If you decide to plant your melons and pumpkins like I have here, um, well, you're not going to get any melons or pumpkins. Whenever you plant melons or pumpkins, leave an open block next to where you planted that plant so the plant can actually grow up into an adult plant. Yes, you can technically harvest these uh, these plant stems here or stalks, but um, that's not what you're meant to do. <laughs> if you're tight on space and you can't have two wide rows, then um, space your plants out a little bit. If you ever happen to catch on fire, uh, look at the ground, uh, place the water, pick the water up right away and you'll be fine. If you're ever falling from a high height, uh, place water on the ground right as you land and you'll take no damage. If you're ever falling from a really high height, uh, land in water and you'll be safe. What I'm getting at here is the fact that water is very, very useful. You should always carry a water bucket on you. I know Pewds has been pretty good about doing this, but uh, definitely make sure you always have water on you. Also, um, as uh, PewDiePie figured out, uh, water does not work in the nether, so technically that's the one place you don't really need to worry about having a water bucket. But other than that place, you should always have water with you. Do you want some fresh new Gucci pants or shirts, uh, but you just don't like the price? Well, you're in luck. You can actually craft your own Gucci pants and nobody will know um, that they're fake um, because they're not, um, because you said so. You can dye any and all leather clothing in a crafting table. This includes leather horse armors. If you get tired of that shiny diamond horse armor, grab some leather armor and dye it a bunch of times until you find the exact color that you want, which is this for me, plain brown. Grab your horse, throw the armor on the horse, and then you have pretty much the most expensive looking ride in the town. But if you want to look really, really flashy, you'll probably want um, like a, a crazier color, like, like pink, purple. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This whole dyeing stuff will work as many times as you want. So if you dye something a certain color and then you decide that's not quite it, well, just change it. And last, but certainly not least, never trust horses. Horses will wander around. They have some sort of um, secret plan and will just wander everywhere. If you happen to be out exploring with your horse and you have to get off of it, put it in some sort of trap. You can do something like this, that'll work, the horse won't go anywhere, or you can go ahead and dig your horse into a hole in the ground, um, like this one over here, and that should work. I think he realized this, at least in his most recent episode, but horses belong in some sort of trap no matter what. Even if you're getting off of them for like two seconds, they will wander around and disappear. It's, it's weird, and uh, you just don't want that happening. Trapping your horse will help keep it safe forever so you can be friends and um, never lose it to a wall or, or something sad like that. And I think with that, we have reached 10 total tips. Bonus tip, bonus tip, bonus tip, bonus tip. Okay, well then, um, <laughs> I guess that means a bonus tip. So, bonus tip, critical hits. Critical hits are definitely, most certainly, the way. Uh, so, that's a normal hit, three hits. And then, uh, a critical attack, uh, one, two. If you jump and land an attack, your attack will be a critical hit. Critical hits will deal a little bit more damage, uh, thus killing mobs just a little bit faster. There you go. Um, there is uh, <laughs> your bonus tip. If you're newer to the game, I hope some of these tips helped you out. If you've been playing the game, nice, very, very cool. What is your best tip? Drop that tip down below in the comments section. My name is Waddles. This has been 10 Tips for PewDiePie or any other Minecraft beginners. If you liked the video, drop a like, subscribe, notification bell, turn that thing on. My links, like my Instagram where I repost memes and my Twitter where I tweet about things, uh, those can be found down in the description below. Patreon if you love what I do. Thank you very much for watching. Um, gamers, it's your job to send this to PewDiePie, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Go have a good day.